Hello, Andy. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Good. How are you, Nelly? Fine, thank you. How about you? I'm doing okay, thank God. Hanging in here, waiting. How was your day? Oh, my day was a little relaxed. Okay, that's good. Andy, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. How was your day, Andy? Oh, my day was uh, wonderful. Okay. Is is the I work all day. Uh, okay. W where do you work again, Andy? I work in One Link. Getcom. Yes. Yes. In front of uh, University Jose Simeon Canyon. Right. Right, right, okay. And and what is your schedule like there? From 9 to 6 p.m. or Monday to to Friday, the okay. weekend up. Okay, and, and what account are you in? Avianca. Oh, Avianca, okay. And do yeah. you live near there? Yes. Okay. That's good. No. Have you worked at a call center mm -hmm. before? No. It's your first time? Yes. Okay. Yes, it's my first job in call center. Okay, good. So, okay, so you can do exactly the same thing in English and make a little bit of more money. So that is good that you are um, in these classes, so you, you can improve. All right, so um, welcome back everybody. Today is May, what's the date? Today is Tuesday, 12 May, May 12th. Yes, Tuesday, May 12th. That is correct. Yes. All right. Um, 2020. Uh, let's briefly talk about the topics we covered yesterday. Do you remember the topics we discussed yesterday? And the, the, the grandparents and my family. Good. We were talking about family terminology. What do you call the daughter of your sister? Daughter of my sister. My, my niece. Niece. What about the son of your brother? Nephew. Nephew. Yes. What about the wife of your father, but she's not your mother? Stepmother. Stepmother. Uh -huh. Stepmother. What about the son of your husband or boyfriend, but he's not your son? Stepson. Stepson. Yes, that is correct. Any, anybody that comes from a second relationship, um, you use the word step. Stepbrother, stepsister, stepfather, stepson, stepdaughter. So that means that uh, this person is part of your family, but uh, uh, there is no blood connection with you. You see the difference? Okay. So you what say. What is the difference, the step and the in law? Okay, in law refers that. Uh, they are family of your husband. 
So if you want to say cuñado, cuñada, suegros, then you say, uh, you use the word in-law. So you say my uncle-in-law, my brother-in-law. So uh, there is no blood connection with you, but there is connection with your husband or, 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 or boyfriend. And that's how you use it. Okay. Any other questions? What, what do you call the father of your grandfather? Great grandfather. Great grandfather. And what do you call the great grandfather of your grandfather? <gasps> Tatarabuelo. Uh -huh. How do you say Tatarabuelo in English? <gasps> great great grandfather. <laughs> exactly. For every generation, you put the word great. Okay. So if you're talking about your grandfather's father, you will say great grandfather. If you're talking about your great grandfather of your grandfather, then you will say the word great two times. Yep. Okay. All right. Um, so if, if you have only girls, you say sisters. If you have only boys, you say brothers. What is the word you use if you have both? So imagine, si huh? Siblings. Siblings is correct. Siblings. So you said, I have three siblings, two brothers and one sister, or two sisters and one brother. So if you have a combination of brothers and sisters, you say siblings. And you're right. Sure. Let's see the chat. Siblings. Right there. It's in the chat of, uh, of, of the conference that we're having right now, siblings. Do you see it? Yes. Okay. So you say siblings. So do you have brothers? Do you have sisters? Or do you have siblings? What do you have? I, ha I have siblings. You have two siblings? brothers and two sisters. Okay, good. Lorraine, what do you have? I just have sisters. Okay, good. Two sisters. Andy, what do you have? Or Ivan, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear. Okay, two do brothers you... and two sisters. So you have four siblings? Yeah. All right, good. What about you, Claudia? Hi, I have siblings, two sisters and two brothers. Okay, so you have four siblings too. Okay, Tamara? Yes. I have uh, siblings. How two many? Brothers, uh, two brothers and one sister. All right. Eric Estrada, do you have brothers, sisters, or siblings? I have two brothers. Okay, so no siblings? No. Okay, what about Mr. Serrano? Teacher, I have two brothers, no siblings. Okay, good. Fabiola? Fabiola Serrano, can you hear me? Cecilia? Uh, have siblings. Uh, six, uh... My sister, one brother. Okay, so you have six siblings. Okay. Okay, so so your brother has five sisters. Yes. Okay. Is he the first one, the last one, the middle one? The middle one. The middle one. Okay, good. All right. Uh, do you have any questions related about? Uh, with vocabulary about family. No? How do you say nieto? Uh, grandson. Grandson. 
I have one granddaughter. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, I have one granddaughter. Oh. Yes. There is a, there is a, a li little word to say, like, but grandmother is granny. Uh huh. Ad un diminutivo. Right. Uh, for grandson? Yes. Not really. People say grandkids, grandchild, but not the diminutivo like we say it in Spanish. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. What about granny? Granny means abuela. Only for for grandmother. Yeah, or you can say grandpa too, or granddad, and it means abuelo. Right. Any other questions? No. no. Any any questions no. about what we saw yesterday? I guess not. All right, so let's start with the first activity. Um, where was this? Okay, conversation one, here we go. All right, do you remember this conversation? Have you seen this conversation in the platform? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, what can you say about the picture? What is she doing? Call for her phone. Okay, she's calling on the phone. Uh-huh. What is she wearing? Calling. Black suit. Black suit. Okay. Black suit. Okay, fine. Uh, is she carrying anything else? Yes, sir. Case. Briefcase. Okay. A briefcase. What do you usually put in a briefcase? Documents. Papers. Documents, Documents papers. Okay. Um, what about her shades? Do you remember the word shades? No. Let me write it in the WhatsApp chat. Uh-huh. Okay, let me see it. Eight to nine, nine to ten. Shade. Okay, do you see the word in the chat? No. In the WhatsApp chat. No, what's up? Shades. Shades is what we say in Spanish, gafas. Shades. Okay. So the, what type of suit is she wearing? Is she wearing jacket and pants? No. What, what kind of suit is she wearing? Uh, blazer. Okay. Skirt. Kind of blazer. Okay, and a, and a skirt. And a okay. skirt. Okay, good. All right, so um, any questions about the picture? No, teacher. Okay. No. So we have, how many people do we have in the conversation? Two. 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 Two we have people. Rita and we have Sue, so I need two volunteers. I'm going to be Rita. Okay, and Sue? Sue Williams. Okay. Okay. Good. So <laughs> let's do it. One, two, three. Okay. Let's go. <clears throat> okay, tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Whoa, and what about your brother? He's a wildfire, wildlife photographer. Wow. 
What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Oh, no. My sister away. She's not working in the United States <coughs> this month. Salud. Bless you. And your, Thank you. <laughs> and your brother? He's a traveling in the Amazon. All right, good. All right, so I need, uh, uh, are there any questions related with vocabulary or pronunciation of words? What mean wildlife? Wildlife. wildlife. Does anybody know the meaning of wildlife? Yes, it's Vida a salvaje. Naturaleza. Yeah. Yeah, wildlife can be translated literally like vida salvaje, and it means plants and animals. Like flora, flora or fauna in, in Spanish, right? Yeah, and, and it's the same in yeah, English too. Fauna. You say flora and fauna. Flora and fauna. Yeah. Okay. Same thing. That's new for me. Yeah. It comes from the Italian uh, mythology. Yep. Any other questions related with vocabulary or pronunciation? No. Okay, so can I have the last two volunteers to read? Me, Rita. Okay, Rita, and where is Sue? Me. All right, good. So let's do it. One, two, three. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow, and what about your brother? He is a wildlife photographer. What I in Serenity family? Can I? No. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. All right, good. Okay, can someone tell me what are the two tenses that they are using in this conversation? Present perfect and... Are you sure? And... Progressive. Yeah, it's progressive. It's present progressive. And what is the other one? This is the tenses, right? In the in the conversation, I I mean maybe I think that maybe present perfect and present progressive or present present okay. continuous. Okay. So when so when you say tell me about your brother and sister, that's a uh, simple present. Simple present, okay. Uh huh. Well, my sister works for the government. Which tense is that? My sister works for the government. What's the tense? Simple present, maybe. It's it's simple present again. Oh, what does she do? That is simple present. I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. What's the tense? Maybe simple present again or not. Okay, when you say I'm not sure, that is simple present. And the second part, she's working on a very secret she's project. Working right a now. In a, it's a present perfect. Present progressive. Present progressive. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. He's a wildlife photographer. Which tense is that? Uh -huh. Simple present. Simple present. That is correct. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Uh, no. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. What's the tense there? Present progressive. Present progressive. And your brother? He's traveling the Amazon. Simple person. Uh -huh. He's traveling in the Amazon. Present progressive. progressive. Okay, good. So remember, uh, can you tell me the differences between the simple present and the present progressive? Um, 
I think uh, the different is E and N G. Uh -huh. and the verb. Yes, present progressive, the, the verb is in the ing form. That is correct. Yes. And the simple present? It's about an action that it's happening in an, and it's going to still happening all the time, maybe. Okay. Uh, someone else? Okay, so remember, when you're talking about an action that is happening right now at the time that you are speaking, that is present progressive. If you're talking about actions that are always true, not necessarily right now, but all the time, you use the simple present tense. Um, the first sentence says, tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. That right there, that's a very general question. So that is a uh, simple present tense. So once again, present progressive or present continuous, you're talking about actions that are happening in this moment. And simple present, you're talking about actions that happen all the time. Any questions there? No. No? No. Oh. No. All right. So no uh, if you if you summarize this conversation right here, they're making emphasis in the present continuous. They're making emphasis about um, different things that they're doing right now. Let me see this one here. So here we have present continuous. So we got six questions. And the six questions are with the present continuous. You can say continuous, you can say progressive. Are you living at home now? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is your sister working for the government? Yes, she is. No, she's not. Or if you're speaking, you can say, no, she isn't. Are Ed and Jill going to college this year? Yes, they are. No, they're not. Or no, they aren't. So the question comes with the present continuous. The answer can be positive, can be negative. It doesn't matter if it's positive or negative. You always have to use the, uh, you always have to include the verb to be in the answer. Are we okay with the first three questions? Yes. 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 All right. So we go to the second group. Where are you working now? I'm not working. I need a job. What is your brother doing these days? He's traveling in the Amazon. Who are your parents visiting this week? They're visiting my grandmother. So, as you can see, you can start a question with verb to be. The answer is always going to be yes or no. Or if you prefer, you can start making a question with WH. Where, when, how, why, who. And then the answer will have to be very, very specific. So when you're making a question with a WH word, the answer has to come very specific and not in like in general form in the first part. Are there any questions? No. 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 Oh, no. Sure. All right. So let's choose this exercise. All right. So can you see that? Yes. 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 Okay. Let me see yes. if I can take a picture of this. Uh -huh -huh. We 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 can take an, an a screenshot too. Please. Sure. Sure. Okay. Yes, you can. Feel free. Let's see. Right. Mm -hmm. 
I have a phone that needs to be replaced. Eight, nine to 10. All right. Okay, so did you get the image in the WhatsApp chat? Okay, so let me assign you to work in, in pairs. We got 11 people, so I'm going to make five groups. And here we go. Aquí lo tenía abierto, quiero ver, lo vi hace rato. What number are you doing? The first. Oh, the first one. Does everybody have the image? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right, good. The me image. Hi, teacher. Hi, which number are you doing? The second. The second one. Yes. All right, good. Andy, is that picture in the university? Andy. Is she there? I don't know. It's silence. It's a mute. Okay. Hello? Is that picture in the university, Andy? This picture, the chat group. The one that you are with a blue wall? <clears throat> yes. In the Universidad Evangelica? Mm, no. Okay. All right, so I'll let you guys work. Podría ser his, his study, studying classmate. Studying. Uh, studying. Playing a game. Yes. Children, Children are playing are a game. game. Hello, teacher. <laughs> How are you doing? So fine. We're doing. <laughs> good, good. So, teacher, how's the, the shopping? Um, you know, I went, um, what did I do? I went to the bank, then I went to buy some oranges and, and, and fruits, and uh, I was supposed to stop at the supermarket, but I said, nah, it's, it's, I don't think it's worth it. So I just came straight to the house. So I left for maybe one hour, one hour and a half, maybe. It wasn't that long. Everything was here in, 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 in Colón. So it was pretty good. Yes. Uh, so what about you guys? Did you have your doing numbers so you can go outside today? No. 
my joy number to get outside was there was yesterday. Oh, okay. Well, it was yesterday, but today I only go to the office. Okay. Yeah, yeah, today I decide to stay at home safe, so. Okay. Hey, I but think you're... maybe that. Uh huh. Saturday's gonna be the next the next day that I, that I can get out. Okay. So in my case, I think it's gonna be on Thursday. I think. I, I don't know if it's Thursday or Friday. But uh. Yeah, I I have to, you know, by by the time Friday comes, I know that some things are are going to be needed here at home. Oh yes, you have to make a, a list. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it helps. Yep. You know, my wife she asked yeah, me for. Yeah, I have written the news. Uh huh. Yes, Alan. No, I I have written the news that if if the police have after you, so where are you going? If if still if it's it's the day for for to get out by your no, by your doing number, so you have you need to to take a a list with you because you can go to the supermarket without a list. So then the people of the supermarket uh, maybe uh, reject you. So if you don't get a list, okay. Yeah, it's, it's it's especially if you can go to the supermarket only twice a week, you should make a list. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You should make Got a list. It. Okay, cuz like in my case, you know, my wife, she has a different doing number so she can go out tomorrow and Saturday. So we can really go out four times a, a week, you know, but that's the idea is only to make one one trip. Yes. But we'll see. Okay, let me visit all uh, your other friends. No. Are you, no, is your classmate a study English? Yes, he is. Is he your classmate? Mm -hmm. Okay. Eating. eating lunch. Lunch. E, um, and the answer? Uh -huh. e, no, no, they, they no, they are. Mm. No, they aren't. Uh, no. Is, we have to use the is your classmate studying? Because that's the third person. Uh-huh. And I say, uh, are you classmate? And, and is your classmate studying? Right. That's it. We finished it. Okay. Let me send someone. Okay. Let's return to the main session. Give me a second. He's not sleeping. Not sleeping, yes. Number not sleeping. 11. Number 11, my friend and I. Uh, sorry? Is the song pressing continue? Como la que acabamos de ver, el ejemplo que nos dio. Okay. Yeah, all of them are present continuous. Okay. We Which, finished. All time. right, good. So let's return. Okay, were you guys able to finish uh, all the exercises? Yes. Yes. Okay. To number eight. Okay, so since you have the, the image, uh, you will have to finish as homework. Okay. 
All right, so let's go to our next exercise. And do you remember this conversation? Okay, what do you see in the picture? I can see the picture. Uh, what about the others? I don't see the picture. Okay. No, I can't see the picture. All right. So I must be doing something wrong. Give me a second. Share screen. Do you see it now? Yes. Okay. Yes. Let's talk about the picture first. Where is this couple? Where are they? In the uh, restaurant? In a restaurant, Trans maybe. Cafe. Okay. Restaurant, cafeteria, coffee. Shop. coffee shop. Yes. Okay. How do you know it's a coffee shop? There is a little table. Okay. Yep. And apparently they're drinking coffee too or hot tea. Okay. How old do you think they are? Maybe um, between 20 or 30. Okay. Between 20 and 30. That's possible. Okay, uh, what about their complexion? They are skinny. They are thin. They are skinny. Okay, they're skinny, they're thin. What's the woman wearing? What is she wearing? Jeans and a blouse. T-shirt. Blue jeans. Okay. Okay, so she's wearing jeans, a blouse. What's the name of the material to make jeans? Denim. Denim is correct. Very good. Denim. 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 Yes. Let me write it in the... Who said denim? Who answered that question? Me. Uh, Andy, can you write it in the chat? Okay. Denim. Yes. Denim is the right word. Uh, what's in, uh, on the chair? What's on the chair? Bag. In the They're chair bag. is a bag. A bag. It's a bag. Okay. Uh, what material do you think the bag is? Damn it. Maybe. Leather. Maybe leather. Maybe leather. Well, right. Maybe right. leather color it. Okay. All right. Uh, what about the guy? What is she wearing? What is he wearing, actually? Uh, a jacket. It looks like a jacket. jacket. No, it's like oh, a, a so blazer. Sweet. It's a blazer yeah. or, a, or a jacket or a and, and black okay. jeans. What, what color do you think that jacket is or that blazer? Purple. 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 Right. Purple. Okay. Um, any questions about the picture? No. 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 All right, so let's go to the conversation. We have Marcos and we have Mei Li. Um, I'm going to read it the first time. You guys check, uh, take notes if you need to ask for any pronunciation or meaning of words. So it says, how many brothers and sisters do you have, Mei Li? Actually, I'm an only child, really. Yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. 
Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. Uh -huh. Any questions there? What no. mean nowadays? Nowadays means currently. Nowadays, hoy en día. Okay. Nowadays. Mm -hmm. Any other questions you guys may have? Mm -hmm. No? No. No. All right. So I no. need I need two volunteers to read the, this conversation. I need Marcos and cool. I need May Lee. I will mark us. Okay, me, teacher. Mark. Okay, so who said me, teacher? Uh, I will mark us. Okay, but who's <laughs> say your name, please? Alan. <laughs> okay, Alan, you're Marcus and May Lee. May Lee. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. So go ahead and okay. do it, please. One, two, three. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Megli? Actually, I am an only child. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only child nowadays. Oh, didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I didn't know that. I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller de these days, but big families are great because you get a lot of birthday present. All right, good. Any questions or comments there? Questions or comments? No. No, no, let me take a picture of this so you guys can use it as reference. Uh -huh. Yes. So, what's up? Nine to ten. There you have it. So, right now, you're going to make a conversation similar to the one you have in the screen of your cell phone or computer right now. So you will talk about your family, if you have brothers, if you have sisters, if you have siblings, if you have any other, uh, how do you say familiares in English? Familiares in English? Sorry. Re relatives. Relatives. Relatives is the correct uh, word. If you have other relatives in your house, you also mention it. You know, I have two brothers and one sister, but my cousin lives with us. Okay. My okay. uncle lives with us. My grandmother lives with us. So you will talk about uh, your family, whether you come from a big, small, or medium family. And you have to be very specific and say how many people there are in your house. Are the instructions clear? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, so I will exchange Cecilia with Alan, Ivan with Mr. Serrano, Lorraine with Gloria, Vladimir with Nelly and that is it. So Lorraine, I will move you to room four. Here we go.
uh, parents. Uh, a father, my father and my mother. And I have a, a pet. Okay. A dog. <laughs> okay. And I have a husband. Yeah, only one brother. I have a... two uncle. In my case, my, my family is really, will be <laughs> because I have my two parents and I have six brothers. Three of my six brothers are deaf. I told I told to the group yesterday, <laughs> but that is cool because I I have learned uh, American Sign Language and English and and then Spanish too. And I um, in United States. Um, my sister and me, Salvador. Teacher, yes, sir. Uh, I had a sister, but uh, from uh, from my father, but no from my mother. Okay. Well, ¿cómo se diría? She is your half sister. Half. Half. Yes. Yeah. I have three half sisters and one half brother from my father sides too just like you so they're my half siblings okay yes okay i have 37 half brother 37 <laughs> yeah are you serious yeah yeah <laughs> So your, your your father had uh, other children outside your home, or what's the story? Um, uh, I outside your home. <laughs> okay, but uh, he had 30, 38. <laughs> really? Yeah. How old is your father? Uh, Seventy years. Seventy years. Okay, and how old are you? 37. Yeah, okay. So he really had 30 something kids? Yeah, for the different families. Right, <laughs> right. And, and how old is the youngest? Do you know how old the youngest is? Uh, three years. Three? Yes. My goodness, that's very young. Yeah. Okay. Well, that makes me feel a little bit good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because my son, he's three and a half. And, uh, and sometimes I say, maybe I was too old to have uh, more kids. But now that I hear the, the story of your dad, I, I feel better now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> yes, I... I was waiting for my, my uh, older dog, who uh, six no uh, five or six years to I don't know para cruzarla. Ah, okay. Uh, it's okay. a good este, no. age, uh, four or five years. Okay. But in the so I don't I don't year, know I don't I don't know too much about dogs, so this is my first dog. <laughs> so then in your case Pinot is is male, right? Yeah, it's male. Yeah. Two two years is is a good age. It's a good age? Yes. To look for a girlfriend for for yes. eight, right. Is your first dog? Yeah, it's my first dog. Yeah. Do you want to see my dog? Uh, what kind of dog do you have? Oh, a cocker, a you said. Oh, a husky. 
Mine is a husky. It's a, it's a kind of husky. It's called Isabella husky. That kind of husky because it's white, totally white. Okay. Is it he or she? It's he. All right. How old is he? It's uh, eight months. Eight months. Okay. Yeah, eight months. Oh, is an eight? Oh, and you? Me too. Me too. Uh, from Monday to Friday. But basically, uh, when they meet. You. Yes. <laughs> I'm talking about my father. <laughs> 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 so, so I came to said the word teacher. <laughs> Why are you in shock? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and where is your father, Ivan? In the United States. Oh, what part? In Texas. Oh, has yes. he has he been there a long time? Mm, no, no, one year. Oh, one year. Yeah. Okay. Does he have family there? Yes, yes. Uh, I'm talking with 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 my other brothers and sisters. Okay. That's good. Yeah. He was my was my aunts, was my well, my father brothers. I talking with the family regularly. Okay, good. That's good. All right, let's return to the main session. Good night. Bye. Yes. <laughs>